You know, for as long as cordless table saws have been a thing, and it hasn't been very long, people have been asking me my opinion on them. And I've always said that cordless table saws are a convenience tool. They're easy to get on and off the job. You're not tethered by cords, but for long rips and extending cutting duties, you always want a corded saw. And if you're buying your first table saw, it should always be corded. But the best of both worlds would be a table saw that could be corded and cordless. Wouldn't that be something? Well, in this box, we have the brand new 24 volt flex corded cordless table saw. It seems like everybody around here is super excited about it. We're gonna get it unboxed right after this message from our sponsor, VCG Construction. Wanna help out with the channel? Then head on over to our merch store. You can get hats, hoodies, t-shirts. Link is in the description below. So last week, we got a press release from Flex Tools that I was surprised to even see. There were some rumblings about their new table saw being released, but I didn't think it was actually going to be announced until 2024. So when we got the press release, we were excited. Number one, we had confirmation they were gonna be having a table saw, right? Now we knew. Number two, it would be coming sooner than we thought. And uh, number three, when we saw the options for the saw, we were excited. What's even more surprising is that it's here already. This is Flex's 10 inch table saw. Innovative technology. This saw is a pioneer as the first cordless 10 inch table saw capable of cutting four by four lumber in a single pass. It's advanced cut sets technology stops the cut after the material is passed, enhancing runtime and productivity. It features a rack and pinion fence system for precise cuts, an LED working light on the fence, and a front panel LED battery power. We're gonna get it put together. This thing feels robust. It is not a plastic saw, I will tell you that much. A lot of metal, top metal, frame metal. They've shipped it really secure. Let's get it up on the table here. Ugh. Ugh. Now, there are two versions of the table saw. There's an eight and a quarter and there's a 10 inch. We're going to bring both of them to the channel, but in all honesty, the 10 inch has me more excited. One feature that's available for both saws is an adapter that makes this saw corded. And that adapter is sold separately. You're gonna be able to use that adapter from what I understand with either of the table saws. I'm also, kind of interested to see if you're able to use that adapter with other tools as well. Let's get it assembled. So we have our little motor guide. I, I, as crazy as it sounds, I like the green accents on everything. So we have a switch, right? This is for the guide. And this is going to answer one of the many questions that I've seen on our blog. I'm going to share it with you in just a second. We have our arriving knife. We have our throat plate here. So that snaps into place. You can see here and here and here and here, there are micro adjustments so that it's perfectly flat with the tabletop. I like that. So they've given us a arriving knife and then a arriving knife with the old guard. We're gonna be installing the riding knife. So we're gonna flip this up. You have to do is open that clamp up a little bit, slide it in, and it will lock in place. And you latch it back down, it's in place, okay? It's pretty amazing that we've come to a time where battery power can actually spin a saw blade of this size and make continuous running rips. The adjustment, the raise and lower on the saw blade itself is buttery, buttery smooth, as well as the adjustment for the bevel. Now, brand new, right? We run the saw, we get some saw dust in there. Maybe that changes, I don't know. But I will let you know that what I've seen in here so far are metal 
adjustment screws for height. This is a metal bevel gear and pinion gear. Or two bevel gears or something. It's not a machinist, a carpenter. Onboard storage for the guard. So on this side, you have your, I'm gonna assume that this is storage for a motor gauge. Flying blind, people, flying blind. No assembly instructions included with this one. This rift fence has a light built into it to illuminate your work as you're making your, your cuts, which is pretty cool. Not every job site is, is lit really well. This could help, especially if you have those aging eyes. Some of you wanted to know, how exactly is that powered? Is it powered by the battery in the saw? Is it powered by maybe a, a watch battery, AA batteries? Well, what they've done is, you can see here, there's USB type C connectivity. There's obviously a rechargeable battery in here that you, you recharge using this port. Pretty cool. It's time to get a battery into it. Here's our on off switch. On, off, and like I said, the little auto feature, boom right there. I think we just start by making some small rips. I will assume that Flex will kit this saw with their 10 amp hour stacked lithium battery pack. This is their largest battery in the stacked lithium line. Put the battery pack in. I will tell you that there is room left over. Maybe you could run this on their 12 amp hour battery pack. When I hit the button here, does that light come on over there? It does not but I guess we can push the button here. You can see the indicator. Now, they're claiming a single pass for a four by four piece of lumber. Let's test all that. Now, before we get to cutting, just wanna confirm the, the accuracy of our cut gauge here, or cut scale. It might require small adjustment. No big deal, let's check it out. All right, so we're supposed to be at six inches you might be slightly heavy. Your cut might be, when I say slightly heavy, your cut might be actually a little light. So what we can do is we can adjust our scale. We're gonna loosen these two screws here, just back it off enough to loosen it up, leave a little bit of tension on it. So now we are at six inches exactly. We're gonna tighten down secure our screws. And if we get down to the nitty gritty here, we're at 30 and 11 sixteenths, maximum rip, right of blade. Now, let's flip it around. Maximum capacity, left of blade for the 10 inch saw. We're at 16 and 13 sixteenths as far as the bevel. So we need a little bit of adjustment here. We're a little high, just a touch high. So what we wanna do is we wanna back down that screw and make sure we're flush. Now we have a stop here at 45. Let's just see how it feels with a, a long running rip through three quarter material. We're gonna make a rip through this pine. We'll just give it a little shave. We're gonna turn the saw on. We have our dust extractor running. Just wanna get a feel for the power of the saw.
Now that's power, baby. I gotta tell you, it wasn't that long ago where I wouldn't even consider using a battery-powered drill. Now we're able to rip four by fours down with a table saw on battery power. Best part is this saw has an option to be plugged into the wall. I mean, I don't know. Is there a tougher challenge? Maybe we need to cut some hardwoods. Maybe we need to cut some hickory, maple. Let me know down in the comment sections below. What do you want to see it cut next? What are you thinking the new flex table saw? Are you as impressed as I am? Because I gotta tell you, I'm pretty doggone impressed. But stay tuned for further in-depth reviews that we're gonna be doing with it because I'm excited about it, and quite frankly, it's probably gonna become my daily driver, because you get the dependability and reliability of plugging it into the wall, and you get the convenience of cordless when you need it. And if you like having dependability and convenience and smash the like button, it's free for you to do, it doesn't cost you a dime, plus you'll get seven years of good luck. There's no good reason not to. I want to thank each and every one of you for hanging out with us while we got this thing unboxed. I didn't even have to use the light here. Look at that. I saw so well, I didn't even have to use the light. Thanks a lot, everybody. I hope to see you all on the next one.